11 years of uploading to YouTube over the space of two channels, the first one being an arcade claw machine, Penny Falls machine style of content, and of course this one I started recently back during the first of a lockdown, which is gaming content here on the High Roller channel. Me pulling off the most insane footage you just can't get anywhere else. So today, so in today's video I thought I would discuss um, where it all started for me, as a lot of you don't know, and I'm going to actually show the footage throughout this video of where it all started. And basically what are my plans for 2022 as well, because I think I might return to the original content that I started over 11 years ago. So let's get into this. So 11 years ago, you know, a lot of interesting things definitely happened for me. So obviously we'll just keep it simple here. I uploaded my first YouTube video, which was in January 15th, I believe, called Claw Machine iPod One. I won a gold iPod, which for any of you that may be too young to know for back then or just don't remember, an iPod back then was extremely expensive and quite relevant. As well, if you had one of these, you were the cool kid for sure, because I think, I don't even know if an iPhone was even a thing back then. I could, I, honestly, I don't, I think maybe an iPhone 2 or 3 maybe at that time, but iPhones were definitely not really a thing back then. It was an, it was the iPod and the iPod Shuffle, that's what you had. So that was one of my biggest wins ever, as well. it was the first video I ever uploaded and it's sitting at 308,000 views, making it my most viral video of all time. And I've got plenty of other claw machine videos as well on this channel here and clawing for it. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check any of these videos out. I would recommend it. These are quite fun to watch, especially for me for the, the nostalgia part. But we've got six plus videos a week of me winning the big 1kg bars of dairy milk as well. Again, I've been making brand new videos in these, and I, I mean brand new, 4k 60fps of me winning these big 1kg dairy milk bars over my TikTok. Again, links in the description for that as well. If you want to go check out my TikTok, and I've been winning out of claw machines again, I'll get into that in a second, from the past and from now in the moment. So yeah, I've got a lot of footage on this old channel as well. Also have, I think, four videos of me winning out of these big, ginormous, monster-sized claw machines as well, that just lift grown adults up off the ground as well. I've got videos of me playing Penny Falls, which means me making actual videos and montages, and me also me winning out of these claw machines with money attached to the prizes, like five and ten pound notes. I've got me winning out of the ticket machines, me winning a camcorder in 1080p as well, and a couple of other cookie finds throughout this video as well. So, yeah, that's the, this is what it all started off with back in 2011, at the very start of the year of January. It was me making content on arcade machines and me winning prizes and big prizes as well. There's even a video of me winning a watch it, which is quite fun. Sadly, I don't have it anymore. It was half my lifetime ago, pretty much when I filmed that. But yeah, as I say, if you want to go check it out, the link's in the description. You've been seeing some of the footage in the background. If you want to go check out any more, feel, feel free to, honestly. They're, it's great content in my opinion for sure, some of the more entertaining stuff that I made, even though it's 10 years old and some of it is in 240p 30fps. So let's talk about my main channel, the one you all know and truly love, the one this is getting uploaded to. So I started off with making very cringy and quite degenerative slot machine gambling videos on this. Thankfully I don't upload these or barely play these anymore to be quite honest as they're just boring as hell. I've deleted a lot of the videos actually because I want nothing to do with them, I don't want to be associated with them anymore. So I'll just skip over that pretty much, it was quite cringy and it was quite degenerative if I can fucking talk today. I was quite a degen pretty much is what I'm trying to say playing them and I don't do that anymore. So let's get right into it, how the channel all started, Rainbow Six Siege. So of course the lockdown happened, the apocalypse began. So I decided that I'm actually going to take a swing. I got Sony Vegas and I got, you know, f f did I get Photoshop at the time? Actually, I didn't. I was just taking, I was getting someone. I, it was my mate actually. I was making them. Thanks, Charlie, if you're watching by any chance. Thank you very much for the thumbnails. He was making my thumbnails for Rainbow Six Siege and Warzone at the time. But yeah, I started off with Rainbow Six Siege content. I put it through my own Sony Vegas. I did all my own editing. The, fir <coughs> the first video I ever uploaded was Golden Gun Gods which was the first ever season of Golden Guns, which 
For any of you who don't know, it was like Call of Duty or Black Ops, one in the chamber. You've got a Desert Eagle, you've got one bullet, but with this one, you could reload it every time, guaranteed. You just have to reload after one bullet of firing, so it made it like you really had to make your shots count. Plus, within this one, it was a guaranteed one hit kill no matter what. And also, as well, the bodies went flying, as you'll see throughout this footage of me playing from the Golden Gun Gods of Mullen video as well. So that was a lot of fun as well. I continued on making Rainbow Six Siege videos. They also had events during this whole time. I made content on that. I made shorts of it. I live streamed it all the time over on Twitch. Um, it was a lot of fun. But, if, but during December of 2020, I knew Siege was going to die. And if any of you know what's happening over at Ubisoft right now, if that, as this video's been posted, or what's happening with Rainbow Six Siege, the game is done for. I think Ubisoft's done for at this point. I think Ubisoft is actually screwed at this point. But again, that might be a video for a whole nother day. But yeah, over half of the Rainbow Six Siege community is practically pissed off. I'm one of them. You don't really see Marley uploading. You don't really see Cluttered uploading that much, although they still do. Um, I don't know what Dom's up to. He's just disappeared. And a few other people to mention within the Siege community have just disappeared. It's just, it's a dead game. So... I saw this coming, I knew Battlefield 6 was around the corner, this is how long ago this was, it was Battlefield 6. That was just around the corner and I decided to make it news reports in that sense, I could get my hands on the news insanely quickly and report on it faster than most other people, if not anyone else. That did quite well for me as well. Of course, Battlefield 2042 finally dropped for the open beta. The be open beta for me was quite fun, I actually quite enjoyed it. The bugs here and there, sure, but... Overall, good experience, I quite like it. Then the main game dropped and... <laughs> oh, God, I've never I've never experienced such a gaming disaster in my life. It was one of the worst things ever. But again, a whole nother video for a whole nother day for that. But yeah, 2020, so we're now practically at the turning point of 2022. And it's been an absolute journey. My TikTok's blown up. My most viral gaming videos came off of that. Me putting a mirror on the opposite side of a reinforced and it worked. And all you could see through the the mirror was a reinforcement. Um just or just reinforcement material through the mirror. It was hysterical as well. So um but yeah, um I think with 2022, I think I might return to arcade footage videos. I, I'm I think I'm gonna to return to it. It's been a very long time since I've properly played them. I've played them quite a bit after Christmas and just before Christmas and I forgot how fun they are and I got some great content that not only looks incredible with its colours, its videos, it's a lot more entertaining. It's a lot easier to make this content. I can get more out more frequently and I actually get to, go, actually get to leave the house as well and that also increases my mental health as well so I get to go outside and have fun so that's incredible as well. It's a day out for me and... Again, I can make it child friendly, which works even better in my favour for progression and content. So, if I can hit that child friendly button and promote it next to children's content, brilliant. That's a massive bonus for me. So, yeah, I think that's my plans for 2022 is to basically upload arcade claw machines, penny falls machines, stackers, and prize ticket machines. I've currently got over 10,000, no, I think I've got some like 12 to 13,000 arcade tickets. Obviously, I've not got the actual forms, I just put them onto a VIP member card that I have. But yeah, um, I, I think I'm definitely going to return to that form because it's a lot more fun. A very rare type of content. People love watching arcade videos, they're so addicting. I'm seriously good at them. I can always get the win, I can always get good content, I can always get the rare footage, as you've seen through my old YouTube channel, Clawing for it. Again, links in the description. So, yeah, I think I want to return to that. It just seems like a much better career path and a lot more fun and better for me. Sure, more expensive to get the footage, but again, a lot more fun. So, again, Merry Christmas to everyone and a good Happy New Year. I think I'll wrap the video up here. If you like what, you, if you like what you've seen, please hit the like button. Subscribe for some awesome content that's definitely coming in 2022 as well. Leave a comment down below of what your favourite arcade clip was that was played during this video as well and I'll try and get more of it because all these arcade machines I can still play them after 11 years they're still about so 
then let me know or if you want to talk about something else just let me know in the comments and I'll reply ASAP and again I'll say it the last time but links to my TikTok my Reddit my Twitter and everything else that I imagine will be in the description and the link for the Clawn for it YouTube channel again I've mentioned that one too many times I do apologise but I'll wrap up there thank you very much for all the support in the past 11 years we have gained just shy of a million views on all my videos combined so that is an absolute incredible achievement it's literally a 0.0000001% of people that get to have that get to have a million views plus sure I've not had a million views on a singular video maybe one day maybe one day we'll get there but collectively on all my videos combined I'm quite happy with that on all my platforms and all my YouTube channels I'm really happy with that so again thank you so much it's greatly appreciated so yeah I, I just love you all have a happy new year hope you have fun and as always I'll see you in the next video and as always keep on rolling